Hi everyone, I am JT Pond. Today I'll be making a review on this layover layouts free terminal large airport mat. Yeah, sorry about the name, that's what it's literally called. Um, this is something new to the channel, so for once I won't be reviewing a model, this time I'll be reviewing a mat. So a little different. Um, yes, I just received this today. Um yeah, and I'm filming this at night, so lighting's much better. So yeah. So I, did, I bought this to replace my old airport, um, because I just wanted a more realistic airport. Um, because my old one, it wasn't that realistic. We, uh, the runway was over here, and then, yeah, the runway was over here, then we had, like, a terminal there, terminal there, and one over there. It wasn't that realistic, um, because every time, like, it, it would take forever to taxi around the airport, and it would just cause some traffic jams. So, <laughs> airplane jams, I should say. So yeah, I just opted to get this new mat. Um, this, this did cost me two hundred dollars. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you if it's worth the price. Um, first impressions, just excellent. This mat is just amazing. Good job, layer layouts. Um, they are very nice people. Um, yeah, they even follow me on Instagram, and they, yeah, I can't believe they actually follow me on Instagram, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is not a paid promotion or anything. I'm just saying they're just very very nice people. Yeah, so if you need a mat for airport, I highly recommend them. This is much better than Gemini Jets mats, and yeah. But basically, in this video, I'm just going to do some quick thoughts about the airport. This is going to be a little shorter review than usual. I just wanted to show you guys how good this mat is, to be quite honest. Um, I haven't made a video in a while. Sorry about that. Then at the end of the video, I'll be doing a channel update regarding the future of Jacksonville National Airport. It's not just only this new mat. There's going to be some other new stuff about it. And yeah. All right, so before we start, um, this is one of a bunch of mats they have on their website. Um, you can get like they have all sorts of sizes. This is a size like eighty eight by fifty five inches because this fit perfectly on my table. Um, except for over here, it hangs off over here, but that's okay. They have like they have an extra small size, so it's a, like probably can fit on the desk. They have like a small size, medium size, large size. And I think they have an extra large. They have all sorts of designs. They have like a, <laughs> they have a circle one design. So it's like a Chinese airport. That one's pretty cool. They have obviously this one. They have like a long terminal like at Providence, Rhode Island um, airport. Very similar to that one. They had, they had this terminal, but with like a cargo area. I didn't get that one because I just wanted more gates. This one was just perfect um, for what I needed. There's an Atlanta airport without a runway. That's the size. And yeah, there's like, even there's like a Detroit airport. Um, that was pretty cool. But that one was like ginormous and very expensive. It was like $700. So if you're doing the Detroit airport, I highly recommend checking it out. Yeah. Another thing is I won't be having any planes or terminals on this um, for this review. So you guys can clearly see the mats. And yeah, so some some other thoughts about this. This is very detailed. Um, Oh yeah, let me show you the Sorry about that. And I want to tell you the layout. So we got a runway right here. This is runway 3-4. Um, this is a concrete runway. Um, we have a taxiway here. We got a couple going onto the runway. Got another taxiway there. Then we got three terminals. These are all connected. So I'm going to make the new terminals. I ain't going to make new terminals because there's other ones that are over there don't fit. So I'm going to make some new terminals for this. Um, there's three terminals. This one has 11 gates. That one has 10. That one over there has 9, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. This this airport has 8 gates that are capable of handling Wi-Fi. So like 767s, 8 free ferries, and up. Yeah, so then it has, um, I believe, like 22 narrow body gates. And they have a couple of regional ones. A couple of these gates have a couple of these gates have two lines like that one does. Then I'm trying to find the other one. Okay, then this one has two. So this is very good for like putting two regional planes. And yeah. Yeah, oh let me show you the gate. So here's the average well this is this a this is like the double gate, so here it is. Looks pretty good. This is the average narrow body gate in the airport. There's a lot of detail, as you can see. There's like some oil markings and all sorts of stuff. I think that's pretty cool. 
This is where the terminals go. This is in the black shade. This is where the terminal goes. We also have a roadway right here. Love that. Uh, we got a line right there. But right here, we got a large gate. So these gates, shockingly, <laughs> this is new to me. These gates can handle up to, like, an aircraft as big as an A380. Because I have put my 747 um, on one of these gates, and it fit it perfectly. So came with that some more um, wide-body gate, wide-body planes. Um, in December update. And yeah, um, so here's the taxiway. Um, here's the grass. The grass is very detailed. I forgot to mention, this is made with vinyl. So as you can see, it is perfectly fine on the table without any any tape or glue, which that other mat was very hard to put down on the table. This one's very easy. There's some curly spots every once in a while. I think that's because of the heat up here because it is very warm up here since it's winter. I mean, fall where I live and it's very cold outside. Um, yeah. And here's all, here's like the entryway to the runway. Right here. Here's a the runway. There is there's some tire markings on the runway. Got all of that. Love detail. They put so much detail in this, guys. This is amazing. Yeah, there's just so much detail, and that's what makes this airport so good. It's just I I've been waiting for this for a week. It's just amazing. Yeah, I, hopefully this video is not a big rambling event. I'm sorry if it is. Um, yeah. So this airport is big. Is very realistic, in my opinion. Uh, this is probably the best design, in, in my opinion, for the large size. Um, yeah. So this, so if you like this, I highly recommend buying it. Uh, this will go really well with the Mile Airport Terminal website. Those terminals on there. Um, I am certain ordering those, but that might cost me a lot of money. So I am probably gonna wait a couple months to buy those. Um, for now, I'm gonna make some custom ones, and yeah. And you know how much I'll say about this. Um, all, oh, one quick thing. Got a little detail where the tree, concrete swab, swabs in, yeah. All right, so. Yeah, so final thoughts about this mat is a, well worth the $200. This is just way better than Gemini Jets. It just looks realistic. Gemini Jets one looks like a toy, to be quite honest. It doesn't look that realistic. This one looks like an actual airport. It looks like they copied it off of Google Earth. And it just looks so realistic. And yeah, so I can't wait to have this in my next airport update, which is in December, second week of December. And yeah, so this map will be getting a 10 out of 10. There is nothing wrong with this. Everything's perfect. Even, sh even it came perfectly, there's nothing wrong with it. And yeah. All right, so. Oh, all right, so I'm going to be providing a channel update on mainly the airport. And yeah. All right, so the next airport update, um, there is going to be some changes. Well, duh, this map's going to exist. Um, there's going to be a couple more airplanes, like those NG um, November releases will be in the next update. I'll also be getting another rare model. Um, probably tomorrow I'll be getting another rare model. It is a pretty one. It's one I needed for a long time. Um, so the airline don't have much of. Uh, it's not Delta, unfortunately. I am hoping to get some more Delta planes because I do need some more Delta planes. This whole area is just going to be Delta planes. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. This is the Delta Gates. And that's the... Uh, let's see. I mean, low-cost carriers. And over there, that's American United over there. So, I forgot to tell you that. And, yeah. And the new airport will be a Storyline Airport. So, this is going to be similar to how Red River Aviation does his. But mine's going to be a little different than his. Um, yeah. So this airport's going to have a story to it. I um, can't wait. Uh, there's going to be some voice actors in it, so, yeah, so it's not just me making a random story of it, there's going to be a couple people in it, so, stay tuned for that, it's going to be a really good update, um, yeah, please subscribe if you want to see more, if you want to see that, yeah, it's just going to look amazing, I cannot wait, I, mean, I should be, tell me comments if you'd like me to make a video on the terminals, um, how to build terminals, I could gladly make one. Because I am going to be building those, I think tomorrow I'm going to start building these um, for these areas. And, yeah. And, yeah, not much else is... Anyway, anyway, one quick thing. Unfortunately, um, got one more news cover, then I'll be done with the video. Unfortunately, I won't be getting any of the Gemini Jets October releases because I am trying to save some money 
towards this airport. I just want to focus my channel mainly on the airport now. I am going to still be doing reviews, so don't worry. I'm only, I'm only now getting planes I really want, because... You know, old planes I got... I don't know. Some of them I kind of regret buying, to be quite honest. Uh, but, yeah. I am probably going to get the Hawaiian A330, so stay tuned for a review for that. I should probably will be getting that one. Um, pro and then, then probably the rest of them probably be Christmas models, because Christmas... December is going to be a very, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a very busy month, I should say. There's going to be a lots and lots and lots of reviews. Maybe one week I have, like, upload daily on one week uh, with just, re simply just reviews. So, yeah, so stay tuned for that. And, yeah, that's going to conclude this video. Sorry for being long to today. And, yeah. So, if you guys are watching, I'm JT Pod. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Can we get up to 100 subscribers by the end of this month? So yeah, we're, we're four subscribers away. And yes, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And have a wonderful day. Bye.